Are you having a good time? I am, you know, I was in a nice hotel yesterday. I promise, I've got my passport, I'm not an immigrant, and I'm fine. <laughs> right. So don't worry. The reason why I'm saying that, because yesterday when I came to the, um, I, I wore my African, I like wearing my African stuff, and I, I was at the, uh, the train station, and I just came in with my big stuff, and everybody was looking at me. Do we have another immigrant coming to York? No! Go back! <laughs> so, um, all right, Africa gathering. Do I just start from the slide one? Yes. So I tell you. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm not very good with technology, as you can see. Right. Um, what is Africa gathering? So I've got six minutes, so I need to be very quick. What is Africa gathering? You know, African people, we talk quite a lot, so I need to be very quick. It's a platform which I founded in 2000 and... Oops. Sorry, you didn't help me with this. So I started, I started up in, in 2009. We created this platform. And the reason why we started the platform was that people don't know about Africa. They don't, anything, they don't know about Africa, including us. We don't know anything about Africa. When you see that the TV, everybody talks about Africa and Africa this, Africa that. Nobody knows about it. So we decided in a pub in London, near, next to the Guardian offices, to create something that will allow people to come and share their ideas. And people say, why do you want to create this? Because you see a lot of events, talk, people talk about Africa all the time. And I said to my friend, Ed, let's create something that is different. So when people sit down and share their ideas, things happen. So we bring amazing people on the platform to come and speak, to share their little ideas. Ideas come from everybody. So we have African people, we have artists, we have friends of Africa, the people in London, I call them, the friends of Africa, people who cares about Africa. They come in and share their ideas. So I'm a development critic. I criticize all the stuff that happened in, to, in Africa. And the aids we give to Africa, I criticize that. I write for The Guardian, you can see my articles in there. So people that come to Africa gathering, they all love Africa, but they don't know Africa. That's why we bring them together. And the reason why sharing, I'm talking to you today about sharing and, you know, art, the, the, the fact of sharing is very, very important. We don't share anymore. That's why we have problems. And sharing for us is crucial in Africa. We, we have a baobab tree called, you know, the baobab tree where we all sit down and share our ideas. It's a symbol of African wisdom. We don't have this in Africa anymore. Every time I travel from my home country, Dakar, Senegal, so I'm half Senegalese, half Ghanaian. So I travel three hours sometimes from Dakar to Kaulak, and I see all these trees going, this dry. We usually we used to sit down in there and discuss our ideas and share problems. We don't see this anywhere in Africa anymore. Mali, Bamako is the only, West Africa is the only country that have actually adopted the system of, of sitting down under the tree and sharing ideas, and it's part of the constitution in, in Africa. So it's a listening tree. So the art in, in, in Africa gathering, why, you know, why, am I, why am I here today? So I met Marcus in California, and I like art. We invite people in Africa gathering to come and share. The, the, the picture you see right now is from a guy called Paul Sika. Paul Seeker, he lives in Ivory Coast. He didn't have internet. He didn't have anything. He's a very poor guy sitting down there. So you'd think he's poor, but I don't think he's no poor. So the guy designed, he, he kind of like, he's an artist. All the scene he designs is actually a scene that's happening in his own, in his own village. He doesn't have all the material we have here. So he does it. So I got a call from Google saying, Mariam, you need, really need to invite a guy called Paul Seeker to come very quickly to Africa Gathering to show you what he does. So I'll, I'll, because I don't have a lot of time, I'll tell you, within two days, I managed to get him a visa to come to Washington, D.C., where we were organizing Africa Gathering. By the time the event finished, CNN invited him to come and share his ideas. Today, he's a superstar, and he came to share his ideas at Africa Gathering. Without that, Paul Seeker will be sitting down in Africa, probably suffering there. 
So I think art brings inspiration, diversity, it gives people strength, it takes take them out of poverty, and help them design what they feel. The guy designed what he feels. This is his village in Ivory Coast. He's a, he's a fantastic designer, really great guy, and he's only 22. So I promote his art everywhere, because I'm privileged enough to meet the first wife of, 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 of African countries, the first ladies. So I, I took his book to the first lady of Ivory Coast and showed his book. Now that she knows what Paul Sika is doing. She knows that there's somebody in Ivory Coast with all these qualities. We got a lot of friends. We got the BBC, we got CNN, we got amazing people that help us. I think what I want you to take from this today, my, the reason why I'm coming here to share my ideas with you is that I'm an African, I'm very proud. You are friends of Africa, and I'm very privileged to know you and meet, meet you. But let's start sharing our ideas. Let's start using the net, using the social media to share our ideas. And I think by sharing our ideas, we know what's happening with other people, in other people's lives. We don't share very much. And I know that. If you go home, think about it. Who are you sharing with today? What are you sharing? Not sharing with your bed with someone else. <laughs> you know? Are you sharing your ideas? Because the more you share, the more you will learn from other people. I don't know, you don't know me, but I think if you share ideas, you can do something in Africa, and I can probably do something, I can probably help you. But it's just based on sharing. Africa is a fantastic continent, and I'm proud to be African. So let's share our ideas. Connect with me on Twitter. You can see my controversial articles on The Guardian. And uh, <laughs> you can go there and comment. Thank you.